Greetings and salutations guys and girls. It's Off Grid Warrior and uh, it is a beautiful day again. I'm really looking forward to spring and summer. Um, what am I doing today? We're scrub fitting the first log. Well this is the second log I've got up after winter but this is the first log I'll be scribe, scribing. If you've been watching my earlier videos, this log up here is the one that I had down on the floor throughout winter and I gotta tell you I was I was a little uh, skeptical about how this would fit when I got it up um, because when I scribed that log um, it was pretty icy as I was spraying the side of the log to scribe uh, the water was just uh, freezing as it hit that log and I thought this is not going to be an accurate fit but I tell you what um, when I got that log up and I rolled it on it just sucked down and uh, yeah, it looked pretty good. So I, I was pretty much thinking I'd have to be doing some more work on it um, But uh, I'm happy about that So that was the first log of the season. I've got the insulation in there It's down and just to answer a question that I've had several times now people have asked me about why am I insulating the inside of this log? Uh, what's the purpose? Log cabins are supposed to be in you know the woods and insulated in itself. They should be warm. Well, I'm not really that insulation in there is not really to um, keep the cabin insulated in, a, in the true sense of how this in roof insulation works. It's really there, let's take a look. It's really there to prevent airflow or wind or drafts from, you know, blowing on the outside of the cabin and, you know, making their way in here. If this was just an empty void, you know, that airflow could get through here and we could get little drafts. You know, if the cabin's not too tight, those drafts could make their way through. Um, so that's why the insulation is in there. Today's job, this guy up here is the log we'll be scribing and hopefully you guys can see this or let's do it this way. This end is higher than that end okay we can't scrub a log like that we need to get these level as we work up we make sure all the logs are level and what I have to do here I've measured from the floor to the top of the log I know the distance between the floor and the top of the log there and I know it there that end is three inches higher than that end so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to take the chainsaw get this this log rolled over I've made some marks uh, where this bottom log touches that top log. I've made marks. We're going to roll it over so there's marks on the top side and I'm going to take two inches out between those two marks. Right, so essentially we're going to drop this log down two inches. On this side, I'm actually going to be putting a wedge and some blocks underneath here. We're going to prop this side up one inch. That should split the difference somewhat and level the log out. Okay, we can't scribe a log until it is level. Pretty key. Alright, so why am I splitting the difference? Why am I not just taking three inches out of that side and being done with? Well, the problem if we do that, if we take too much out and drop this three inches down, I'm going to end up taking a lot of material, a lot of product is going to have to be scooped out or notched out just on this end. And it's going to get really narrow on that side. I don't want, we want to avoid taking too much product from the underside of these logs, right? We want to take the least amount of wood out on the underside as possible. So I'm going to split the difference so we don't take too much out from one end. And there's other issues that occur. If I take too much out on this end, we end up with a log that sits really low and out um, over the bottom log here. And then when we get to the other side, you know, the log's going to be sitting up here it's just not going to look good so we need to uh, try and split the difference and get this as level as possible then we'll start our scribing hopefully that made sense to you guys it made sense to me
Okay, let's uh, show you what it looks like up here. Uh, where are we at? See mark there, mark there. I'll be dropping between there, taking it down two inches. Right, so that's how I like to do it. What I'm going to do then is bring the hammer into use here. Watch out for flying uh, wood chips. And then uh, I'll get the chainsaw on this again a little bit and uh, just flatten that out. reason why I'm using a hammer, I could do this all with a chainsaw, but uh, I try and save fuel when I can. Uh, if I can do a little bit of manual labor and save fuel, that's, that's a good day. So that's why I do it that way. Okay, now that uh, that's done, roll the log back over into position, remeasure, and see where we are. Double, double, triple, double, triple check. May seem redundant. Let's call it seventy seven and a quarter. Okay, so we have the log somewhat level right now. There's um like a quarter inch difference um, uh, on, on between the ends. That size, a quarter, still a quarter inch high there. I'm not going to uh, worry too much about it at, at that point. Quarter inch, I can make up uh, on the next uh, log easily. So I'm just going to show you a little tip on, uh, you know, moving these logs. Um, a little tip on how to move them and little ways to oh, aid yourself. With lifting these a few splinters gloves always a good idea um, as you can see what I've got here is um, I've just got my leg over this here fine implement and if you've watched my earlier videos you'll know what this is what is it what is it yep you got it um, all I can do you can see now how easy it's gonna be for me to just using my leg right here tuck in my foot there and I can lift, just using the pressure of my leg here, I can lift and pretty much with one hand, or with one hand, just rearrange these. See how easy that is? One leg, one log. Okay guys, so here we are, scribe time. And uh, I'm not going to go over this again on how to do this. Um, if you watch my earlier videos, there's some videos there on uh, a little more detail than how to scrub it. Basically now we've selected uh, the depth that we're going to scrub at, or the width. And uh, this is uh, one of the problems I mentioned earlier on that we may run into with taking too much off on one side. Right now, 
the uh, distance you see in between those two points is the largest gap I have along this log which is right at the end over here sometimes it may be in the middle depending on the shape of your log but this is the largest gap you can see it right there and what we're going to do with this is when we start scrubbing this distance stays the same distance the entire log now this might be fine over here you can see as we scrub what's going to happen right you can see as we're scrubbing, watching the level. Again, you can watch my earlier videos on how this works. As we go along here, this gap narrows, gets, becomes narrower. And as we scrub along, we're going to get to this end and look at that gap. You see how much material we're going to have to take out of this log now because of this gap. See, that's why I said you always want to try and split the difference here. You don't want to go too have to lower one side too much. Look at uh, what we'll be scribing now when we get here. If we make sure those are somewhat level. See the distance we are. See how much material we're taking out the bottom of this log here. Not ideal. Fortunately, this is a fairly fat log on this end. And it's still a little too high up here. I'd like to somewhere be in the middle. Um, the top of the notch to be in the middle. I prefer that, but we're going to be just a little higher than that. Not, not ideal again, but you know, I'm I'm not working with perfect logs here. No log is perfect, but I can assure you these are um, <laughs> most professional log builders will probably not want to work with logs like this. Um, this is what I have, and this is what I'm using. So. Hopefully that makes sense now, um, why I wanted to avoid taking too much or lowering one end too much. So, next is the wonderful, slow, uh, I was going to say painful, it's not really painful, it's quite a joy. Um, but, it, but it is slow, uh, scribing we have to do, um, slowly, inch by inch, scribe this entire log. Then I'm going to have to set up some scaffolding or ladders on the other side and scribe the other side. So let's get set up for that. By the way, it's turkey season and I have heard turkeys all over. So uh, I may have to uh, break for uh, lunch, shall we call it. Uh, if that happens, maybe I'll take you guys along. Okay, there we go. I use uh, this little sprayer I got here. Need to get some water on the log. See, I've got the uh, dogs on, log dogs, both ends, and uh, it's not scribing. I haven't done this for uh, several months, so probably take a little bit of time, a few runs for me to uh, get a little more accurate.
Okay, not very exciting guys. That's what we're gonna do all the way over and back down. So, catch you later in this process. Just another little tip guys. Um, I'm actually done with the scribing. Uh, we can take a look. Hope you guys can see that line. Right. There it goes. So, one thing you should do when you're doing these notches before you move this log or roll it, um, you should put on your, take your uh, round notch over here and the highest point, all right, of your mark, level your scribe out, make sure your axes are where they should be, okay, and pay attention to where the bottom one is and mark it. You can see I've actually already done a mark there, right? Does that make sense? I'm going to put that on the highest point on the top. We're going to make sure it's level and then note where the bottom is and make a mark, right? You can see I've made my mark there. I'm going to do the same on the other side. And uh, what that's going to allow us is once we've once we've done the notching and the uh, lateral notch on this log and we roll it back onto place, we're going to use these little lines we've just, just done as markers to where the edge of this log needs to be. Otherwise it's really difficult to put it back in the exact location that you scribed it. These little markers are going to let you know where this top edge needs to be. All right. One of those things you definitely need to do when you're doing this. Well, it will help.